Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy JT. I'm back again with another actual video. You don't see this coming. Yes. Yeah. This because time. this time we are taking it up a, a notch. notch. Yes. Yes. So we are doing. We are reacting to football. Yeah. Because we want to know like which football team like has the most passionate fans. You, you understand know what we are saying. You know, the we know. The we the know. The Fenerbahce's, the Besiktas, the Trabzonspor. <sighs> <laughs> We know Turkey is like one of you know one of he's on top you understand so that yes, you just want to see so like, on top of what he's on top of the list now oh, okay okay person. football fans yeah mm-hmm. all right. anyway so please smash the subscribe button if you want something like this again and yes so let's get right into the video please follow us on Instagram thing, and Twitter I have too. to say one thing though the first time I remember the first last year when I was in Cyprus here and Galatasaray was it last year last Galat- year last year that's last year. And Galatasaray won uh, the the league, the Super League. Come yeah. on! Yeah, I man. They are crazy. Crazy. Turkish, Turkish people are crazy about yeah, football. What true, the? True. The street was filled up. Girls yeah. everywhere. Cars honking and stuff. Huh? What? Mm-hmm. So true. I won't be surprised though. Yes, let's 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 just die. Die. The atmosphere you you will see here is something you will never see in your life. Trust me. The life stops. You know, everything stops. Passion of Turks is just uh, a, a every, complete, every uh, another universe, let alone another world. I'm telling you, even though it is Corona period and there's social distancing, if I Turkey God, should it win, be the same thing. It's, 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 the same yeah. thing. Uh, it's the climax of the passion. Football is life in Turkey, that's for sure. Yeah. Turkish Airlines have challenged me to visit 10 Euro countries in just 10 days, finding out what international football means to Europe. Yeah. China is part of the best airlines in in the world or in in Europe. Mm, I guess I in the guess. world. But right now, I don't think so because like there are a lot of what is it called cases of missing baggages and stuff uh-huh, uh-huh. right uh-huh. now. So I don't know. But their food is actually the best. Well, when yeah. I was coming, maybe because I I wasn't really used to it though. Yeah. I couldn't eat it. I just had the biscuits. I was 17 when I was coming. So <laughs> God, I was just, it's, just giving what? everything. Oh, it's you, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know what he's doing. Well, what a way to start meet Europe's best. This setting, this view, it's unbelievable. It's so what I'm really want to know is what Turkish football fans think of their sorry. view, it's oh. unbelievable. Damn. So wait, wait, wait. it goes I think like this. It joins. I'm not sure, but I heard it joins that this is the breed that joins Europe and Asia together in oh. Turkey or something. Well, no, but can, can it just like move freely to <laughs> to Asia, right? Yeah. I don't know. What I want to know is what yeah, Turkish football fans think of their team's <laughs> chances at the Euros 2016. The best way is to hit the streets of Istanbul. Whoa! This guy's English is so freaking cool. He probably grew up in the UK though. Yeah, and he looks Turkish. Turkish, of course. Okay. He looks um, he looks like Gondoan. Oh, am I saying it wrong? Bernardo Silva. Bernardo! No, but Bernardo Silva is from Portuguese. Yeah, but yeah, he looks, looks like, like Bernardo Silva. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> well, looks, and his English is actually pretty cool for the accent. Find out what the real fans are thinking. Yeah. We've just left our hotel room here in Istanbul, and the first thing you notice is just how many flags are hanging off <laughs> residential <laughs> buildings and apartment blocks. And it really shows the pride the people of this country have yeah, in being man, Turkish. Yeah. They're playing in one of like, the biggest sports. Like, no, no. You have to give that. Yeah, to them, yeah. You know. They love their country. Even here, <laughs> even here in Cyprus, it's, it's like obvious. love houses. Yeah. You see, you see, Turkish flags. Tournaments in the world, and you really it's get the sense that, that this city in a couple of weeks, when the Euro kicks off, it's going to be adorned with even more flags. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Sweet, can I try? Thank you very much. Fantastic. Now you don't watch football usually, no. but you no. watch the Turkish national team. Why does everyone, even if you don't love football, they still watch the national team? People want to win, just like this. Does the rivalry of the clubs, does it affect the love for the national team? No. The national team is another thing. When we talk about national team, the old clubs are connected. Does anything come close to the way the national team brings the country together? As football? No. No? No, you know, I really think it's, it's, it's so special. 
you guys in these streets? Wait, a lot of us. Yeah. Damn. Energy is just unbelievable. You know, it's unbelievable. It's amazing. It's just rumor. And the funniest, the funniest thing is like. Just one random person can yeah. just come out on the street and be like, then start something that everyone joins, you know, yeah, and yeah. that is so beautiful. Is you love to see it. The Euros, what yeah. would happen? It would be very crazy. Yeah? Yeah. And maybe all who the world can hear our voice. Very happy. Beautiful. Very happy. That is everything I'm always talking about. He doesn't even watch the sport, he said himself, but for the national team and for tournaments like the Euros, he watches. Why? Because it's his country. Football and international tournaments. This is what it is all about, mm. and it's so delicious as well. <laughs> <laughs> now this is Wait, cool. What, what, what is what is that? What's he eating? It is all. That's that. Lucy. I don't know. What is he eating? And it's so delicious. Oh. Tweet from a football journalist called Vulcan, who we actually interviewed oh. during the Istanbul episode Vulcan of Derby Shanks? Days. During that interview, he told us all about club football in Turkey. Ball. But what I want to know from him this time is his thoughts on the Turkish national team and its place here in Turkey. I love the jersey, man. Good to see you again. Come on, give us a hug. Oh. Even people who aren't football fans here in Turkey have told me the reason they love the national team and the tournaments is because it puts Turkey on the map. When you are playing in European or World Cup championships, you are on the map, as you said, and everybody is talking about you. Then when you go abroad, they are going to ask you about your national team, your nation, how are things in your Can country. You something? Turkish people are really, really proud. I mean, like, they are proud of, of whatever country. they have and stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. They are learning things about your country and you, it's a possibility to teach people about your country. Okay, we gotta react to the talk, talk Turkish food. food stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I just saw this on that. Oh. <laughs> well, I think we should make Chikov there one day. Chikof we should check there. YouTube and make Chikov there. Oh, I don't want us to waste money because <laughs> we probably. Soccer too. Oh, Jikov, it's uh, it's a very long it's a very long stuff. Like I just remember hours? It's like, it's like two hours, hours or so. To make food. Yeah, there are lots of things. Yes, there are things you have to like grind stuff. Okay, okay. Here's what we gotta do. Yeah, we gotta find someone like a Turkish national. So who's gonna oversee <laughs> the things? Uh, we gotta. But well, she's not gonna help us. Yeah. she's not gonna help us. Or oh, he's not gonna help us. <laughs> 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 So this show was to show that football doesn't just introduce you to football coaches right. and football fans, but it introduces you to the rest of the culture. Uh, you know That's too, cov too covetous. After the drinking, you know, they like they, they, they do this foul kind of stuff. Where foul? Foul. Like that? when they drink coffee, yeah, they turn it upside down, mm -hmm. and then see if get they, they leave it for like twenty minutes or I don't know, ten minutes or something, and then when they pick up the this, and then one of their friends that like can look into like read those kind of things and i'll look into the cup and like hmm, and tell them what will happen to them in the future so. <laughs> that's, <laughs> actually, that's tradition like, right yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, like um <laughs> there was one time the, the only time i've taken to a privacy <laughs> <laughs> that i didn't like it <laughs> like the friend i forgot the person was he was like i i said all oh, this thing is crap <laughs> the mm. guy was like angry and <laughs> honestly like i was like oh my god like i regretted saying it yeah and they and really that's believe in you, it. Didn't, you didn't like believe in it so yeah it just felt yeah, it wasn't right for you to you shouldn't say it's crap because yeah. like you don't believe in it no i just said i don't yeah yeah ask them more <laughs> city and country you know the music the yeah, architecture of course the food and that's why i've got this guy with me here the, the, mirror, so. the architecture of course the food this is me too right no huh this is why i've got this the, that stuff is what like they're using. With me here is a Turkish YouTube legend. His name is Hayret Tin. Football to Turkish is everything. Eric, what about food? Food is secondary. This. Yeah, that was it. that was the thing. Dude. Yeah. What does it taste like? Um, actually, I liked it because I asked for more. Honestly, I liked it. This one is so oily. Yeah, I've tasted it. It's so oily and lots of sugar as well. Damn.
At least everything is paid money for this. I guess you didn't like it. Pay money for this. At least everything is paid money. You don't have to eat this. There's Johnny Kebab across the road. Oh yeah. What's this? One time. I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Wow. Nice. So there's one thing I noticed, man. Turkish people are passionate people, and yep. they love their team. Yep. Down. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> but we still have to react to the rage moment, you know, the fight moment between yeah, the fans. Yeah, between the fans. Especially Fenerbahce and the Galatasaray. Yeah, 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 man. It's always so fucking mad. Anyways, guys. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so. Anything, 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 anything. I think, nah, I think that's all. Yeah, so let's go, guys. Let's go. Where are you go. going? Home. Well, home where? I mean, I may be to the moon. We are going. So, guys, that's it. Turkish fans. And hope you guys like it and you enjoyed it as much as we did. Yeah. Uh, make sure to like. Subscribe, subscribe, comment, turn comment. on the post uh, notifications, and um, to be see next time. And yeah. Also follow us on Instagram. Yes, and and to be see next time. God, honestly, we we, we really need to work. We need to we need to work on these outros. <laughs> like it's always crap. <laughs> <laughs> Our outros are always bad. Actually, it's just recently it's been bad. Yeah. So to see next time. Peace.